Hi guys, how is it going? And welcome back to a new video. This video, we will look at factory pattern. So basically, we want to clone one contract into another, or you can think of it as deploying or creating an existing contract inside a new contract. All right. So now let's create a new file. And this is the existing one, which is the uh, call my uh, storage. So now create a new one under or the same uh, folder under this contracts folder. All right. So create a new file. Let's call this as storage factory dot sol. So inside here, what we're going to do, it's basically the same thing. So let's just copy this license here, the license identifier and put it on top of the file. And next is also uh, just import this uh, pragma solidity as well. And the version that we use is the uh, 0.8 range. And now let's create a new contract. Let's call this as storage factory. And to clone this existing contract, we will need to use this keyword import. And in here, we need to point it to the my storage dot soul. All right. So basically, everything that is inside this uh, contract called my storage, it will also be available inside this storage factory, which is a new contract that we are creating now by just using import and uh, slash my storage dot solve. All right. So now to deploy or to create a new contract from uh, this contract called uh, storage factory, we will need to create a new function. So it will be function. Let's just call this as deploy my storage contract. Create this as the public function. And inside this function, we can now uh, start using the my storage. All right. So we can start using everything inside this file here. So this will be my storage type. So the type here is my storage and I'm going to call this as my storage with the lowercase as seen here. And we need to use the keyword because we want to use the my storage. Now let's compile this and uh, let's just take a look here uh, under the deploy and run transactions. Uh, we are using the environment with JavaScript VM. And then when I click on the contract here, now instead of um, seeing just the uh, my storage dot sol, we can see the storage factory as well. This is the new contract, right? And now let's just select this one and click on the deploy. So once I click on this, you can see it successfully uh, deploy, right? And when I click here, and then a new button is showing the deploy my storage contract. When I click on this, actually nothing is happening. So to see the information um, like the address that is deployed, then we will need to start using this or putting it into the array. So let's just create the array right here. This will be my storage with the array type. Let's just use the public keyword and just name this as my storage array. So to use this my storage array, then I can start calling it. So my storage array dot push. So what are we pushing? We want to push the my. So let's just paste it here and let's compile it again. Command S. And now make sure to select this one as well and click on the deploy button down here. A new one is deploy. And now instead of seeing just the deploy my storage contract, we can also see my storage array as well. So let's just click on this one real quick. And now a new contract is created right here. We need to provide the index So starting from zero. Click on this button right here. You can now see that this is the address of 
contract right here that is successfully deployed right and instead of just using it directly uh, which is the my storage here we deploy a new contract the existing contract inside this new storage factory so this is known as the factory pattern and the address here it will be used in the next tutorial see you guys in the next video